there is a thing that I have a contradiction in the Bible that I have looked at before, and I am not happy with how I have handled it before in the past. So I would like to spend just a few minutes and looking at it again. And the contradiction is this. Is God's anger forever or not? What's the situation there? So in some parts of the Bible it says that God's anger is not forever. And then in other parts it says that it is forever. So let's look at the part that says that it is forever. Jeremiah 17, 4. And I think that part of the problem comes in translation. Jeremiah 17, 4 says this. You shall loosen your hand from your heritage that I gave to you. God is talking to Judah. And I will make you serve your enemies on land that you do not know. For in my anger a fire is kindled that shall burn forever. Now, some translations don't say and say that my anger is kindled forever. If you look at the ESV, it shows the distinction of translations. The ESV reads, For in my anger a fire is kindled that shall burn forever. And you might say, okay, what does it matter if a fire is kindled or if the anger itself is forever? What does it matter if it's a fire or if it's anger? Okay, so hold on. Before we get to that, I want to point this out. God's anger is eternal for those who don't repent. For instance, the people in, and the people who, who don't accept him and, and go to hell. That would be a good example of <laughs> his anger not ceasing. However, with that being said, um, context really does govern a lot of translation. And in this one, I believe that the ESV is correct in its translation, um, based not on my own opinion, but based on Jeremiah itself. Um, it's not the anger that burns forever, it's the fire that burns forever. And you might say, what? How can a fire burn forever? In the book of Jude, it actually talks about this, how a, a fire that burns forever against Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, we know that Sodom and Gomorrah still aren't, aren't still burning. We know that. And we know that they don't exist anymore. So then, what does it mean? It means that the punishment was did not did not go away. It it stands forever as a as a monument, as a testament of the punishment that was brought from God. And so if you look at, at Jeremiah 17, 4 like that, you shall loosen your hand from your heritage that I gave to you, and I will make you serve your enemies in a land that you do not know. For in my anger a fire is kindled that shall burn forever. That actually fits more than saying his anger is burn, is forever. And then he says in verse 5, Thus says the Lord, Curses the man who trusts in man and makes fle uh, flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from uh, from the Lord. He is like a shrub. And he goes on talking about that. And I don't want to get carried away here. But the point being there, he's talking about, I have given you patience and I've given you time. And now you've continued to do the wrong thing. So now I'm bringing up by a punishment that will always be a reminder and a testament to you of your sin. And that's exactly what happened in Israel as a nation never once returned nationally to idol worship this broke it from them it was to them a, a, um kind of like a terrifying thing of their history so that is actually what did happen but then also i want to mention this just because sometimes people don't understand um and i'll come back and just let me just get to this words don't always mean the same mean what they are translated as and sometimes the same word can mean vastly different things that might be complicated, but that's the way ancient languages work. I'm not just talking about the Bible. I'm talking about ancient languages in general, uh, and even sometimes modern languages. That they, they just that's just how they work. Um, but words don't always mean what they are translated as. Sometimes we mistranslate things, and uh, you have to. Well, so how do you even know then? You know by going back to the original language and not taking the translation as the original. Hebrew, and all, here's another idea that I want to kind of throw at you. Hebrew is not as precise as modern English. They just didn't have the same words. Um, like Jeff, uh, no, not Jeff, James Hoffmeyer shows um, the storage cities that Israel built was more of um, a building with a wall around it. It's, you know, they just had a different whole concept for their language. Um, people thought different. So now, why do I think that that is the correct way of translating this? Well, first off, the obvious point that if you try and translate it the other way, that 
it's not going to fit in the book of Jeremiah or the Bible as a whole. And then second off, because then it teaches something that's not true. The, the whole book of Jeremiah talks about repenting and how if they would repent, what would happen? So why would God have... Let's just think about this reasonably. Why would God have a prophet give a message that wouldn't be received that also couldn't be received? A waste of the prophet's time and effort. Not just in result, but in actuality, in reality. It was a, something that they could not do. God would have been setting them up for failure. See what I mean? If his anger did burn forever. But if you look at the context itself, it's very clear that he's saying, I am bringing by a punishment. I am not abandoning you forever, even in the book itself, in the rest of the book of Jeremiah. If we were just to, con just to in uh, include just the writings of Jeremiah, it's very obvious that God, that God is not talking about an eternal anger against them that is for forever. And even in the New Testament, they didn't take this as this. Paul said, is Israel cast off forever? By no means. He's very clearly talking about, about the way that there's going to be a punishment that happens. And that punishment is brought about because of this. In my anger... A fire is kindled. I am angry because of that anger. A fire is kindled. A punishment is coming. That will be for forever. And it was forever. I mean, oh boy, just the problems, just the problems. But anyways, if you study more in there, you can you can see more about that. But I'm just kind of wasting time at this point. So bye.